Good morning. Praise the Lord, Daniel. Daniel, for all the way from Nepal. Daniel is in Nepal, folks, and he's in the house. How's everyone doing today? This is uh, Rick from the Corn Life Network, and you are with Coffee Talk this morning. And that is our first thing. Love first, Jesus first, right here at the Corn Life Network. Um, glad you are all with me this morning. I hope I sound all right. Um, I have a new deal going with sound, and hopefully it sounds a lot better than it has, which wasn't too bad, but this is, I hope, something better. Um, but this morning, we are discussing the fish sound show to start off the bat. Fish is back. So if you want to check out his show, he has the stupidest show on YouTube. That's, that's what he's been known to say. But I don't think it's stupid. I don't think a lot of people think it's stupid. Really, really good deal that guy's got going on. And I'm glad I can, um, you know, be a part of that and just know him. I mean, you know, we'll know him, support him, all those things. Um, this is a interesting morning. I woke up and I'm like in a horrible mood. <laughs> and, you know, it's really funny. I know it probably doesn't seem that way, but um, I am. I, I just woke up and, and have not been on the right side of the bed since this morning. And... But I am here. I have uh, made this commitment to do these shows, and I am here. Sometimes you don't um, feel like doing them, but I can't imagine that I. Most people don't, you know, give up their day job to do something as lucky as I get to do right here, which is fantastic. How are you this morning, Daniel? Are you doing well? Because I'm glad it's it's like. 9 o'clock p.m. though, am I correct? Like, tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe not tomorrow. I don't, I, I, I'm not quite sure, but it's almost tomorrow, I think it is. I think Nepal, where Nepal is, it's, uh, it's like on the same, yeah. I think you're in the same day we are, just at the end. So, yeah, I, I, but I, I, I am glad to have um, someone from around the world watching this show. That just makes me super happy. So, you can hear me, Daniel, right? I'm not, like, talking to myself, am I right? Because I am so glad you're here, and I'd hate to think that there is no one listening or no one watching, but that is just the nature of the beast. Sometimes you get a lot of people, and sometimes you don't, and sometimes there's technical problems, and sometimes there's um, nothing. So, yeah, we're kicking it off on a Monday morning. I think it's just like a morning Monday morning for one else. Um... I usually take time off during the weekend, but we were pretty busy. We, um, If you weren't here last night, we, we did a coffee talk with um, Brooke and Rick. Be sure to check that out. Um, really good uh, good time we had. It wasn't a whole lot of people, but I think a lot of people have watched it since then, which is just you know unbelievable to me that people are actually watching us. But um, from around the world, Daniel, Daniel here from Nepal, and um, he is a strong Christian and a strong... Uh, strong strong christian and um, i'm glad to have him in the sh in in the sh on the show um other things this afternoon we're probably going to have an interview with robert from the fish sandwich show we have to figure that all yet yeah yet what time it is and stuff but tune in for that i'm thinking about that five o'clock eastern time here in in uh in in uh five o'clock eastern and uh, that that could vary a little bit i have to get with robert on that but i'm working on all the technical details out of that today um, getting stuff ready for his um, big debut of merchandise, and hopefully he'll we'll have that out by the end of this week. Um, something else I wanted to put you out to: if you are a creator and you are pumping, I am a creator. There is a T-shirt available on Teespring. Um, we are glad to provide that. I made that design. Um, I did not create. I am a creator, but I created the hashtag T-shirt. I think Angel's done something like that too. Um, but this is available on Teespring. You can grab it. Um, if you want to, you know, show the world that you are a creator and that you are creating and doing those things, it could spark some, uh, um, a little bit of interest in your, in your channel. Just simply because, um, you know, we are creators and, um, people don't understand the work and the effort that goes into this. You know, well, you do a YouTube show, but it takes a little bit of work to do a YouTube show. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Most of my most of the people who watch me are, are creators and do that. I there's 
roughly right now I have um, 70%, 70, 73% of the people I'm subscribed to actually um, are, uh, sub are subscribers. The subscribers that are subscribed are there and there's like 20 something percent that are actually people who aren't subscribed. And that just, um, that's just amazing that people are watching my videos like that. I, um, I'm so grateful, so grateful, so grateful that all you great people out there want to watch me. And this, this is just, wow, heavy. If you notice, I am sporting a new haircut this morning. And it's not for the 300 subscribers, but just because um, it's, you know, it's getting more, it's going to get more and more warm here in Iowa. And um, we're going to... Uh, during the summer here, it's quite hot and humid. Daniel's hot and hot and probably humid in 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 uh, Nepal. Um, but yeah, you know, it, with the the um, the changing of the seasons, I kind of like to you know grow my hair and cut my hair off and do all those wonderful things that, you, that guys can do with their hair. Women aren't so lucky. Some some do shave their head, and that's a good thing, too. Um, they're comfortable. They like to do that. Um, I actually saw a video with a very beautiful woman a couple days ago, and I can't remember what her name was. But um, Something else I wanted to point you to is a guy named C. Otter Rick Rogers. And this is all in the, in, in the notes. Um, I've been watching his stuff lately. He's a really positive guy. He's got some real strong opinions. I respect opinions. Um, I agree with him. But if you don't... If you don't agree with them, you know, you can type down and he'll have a conversation with you. He's a pretty healthy guy. He's not one of those guys who's going to yell at you. You know, he's um, real easygoing. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but he's a, a vet. Um, he works, he's a social worker like my fiance. And he, um, he uh, does uh, all kinds of wonderful things for, I mean, just for vets and talking about what's going on with them and, and people in general. Um, we talk about they talked about suicide. They talked about all kinds of stuff on his program. He's a good guy, and he he would drop it. I'm sure. Um, I might I might try to do an interview with him later on sometime because he's a good guy. Now everybody can hear me. Daniel, can you hear me? Because I'm getting I'm getting this knowledge that I am, but I'm not getting any response from everyone. I'm losing watchers, which is terrible. So if anyone can hear me, let me know. I'd appreciate just like a head thumbs up like you know give me thumbs up if you can see it if not don't um, but if I start to lose a ton of watchers and I don't have anyone watching me then we have an issue so because I just installed this new mic this morning I got it it was a special deal from uh, the great people at amazon.com and uh, I, I am very grateful but yeah, it's a Monday morning, man, and and um, you know Mondays are just like difficult for everyone, and and I mean if you're retired, it doesn't make a difference, but if you're if you're uh, you know you're doing this on a daily basis, Mondays actually start to come into play a little bit. You you know I've had a weekend and uh, kind of a well, it's a good weekend, it was a blessed weekend, but um, you know ran into a, some car problems in in Des Moines, Iowa, which is about an hour away from here, and. Uh, we uh we were so blessed we just ran into some people who weren't very friendly you know it's it's a bigger city and people are very very um i don't know they're cautious because of the crime rate in des moines and i, I mean i don't look like i mean you know this weekend i look like kind of normal um and i, I, don't, I don't think i'd scare anybody but and i don't think brooke who asked the problem to jump our car basically is a real simple aspect he says well, don't you have insurance? And I was kind of like really taken aback by that. I mean, it was like, I mean, it's, I don't know. He he just he wasn't very friendly. And, you know, where I'm living now, um, people are super friendly. Um, and uh, I was kind of just shocked because I'll help anybody. I mean, I will totally help anyone with their problems. And in any way I can anyway, any way that I'm educated and know how. Um, but yeah, it was very, very, um, interesting experience, um, kind of drew me to the fact that not everyone's as nice as I am. So, um, we, we love it. I've got four viewers in the house. If you guys, can you guys hear me? I'm really concerned about this now because if you can't hear me, then I am talking to no one. 
and that would not be good. Um, I would really appreciate some sort of indication if you can hear me because I, I would hate to think that I can't. It's worked earlier this morning, so if you're out there and you can hear me, let me know. Good morning, everyone. There's four people watching, and I am talking and not getting interaction, which is okay, I guess. I don't really need to have interaction. I can talk for an hour. But, um, you know, I, one of the things, the blessings is that people can go through hard times and through love will prevail. Um, and that's kind of the tough time we had this weekend, you know, and Robert was burned out and he got through with support of a lot of different people who love him. So, um, you know, we're real, real happy and um, happy that he's back. And uh, um, I just can't say enough about how much, uh, how grateful I am that he is um, back. Yeah, because I enjoy his show very much. It might be the stupidest show on, the, on YouTube, but it is very, very fun. And if I can't be heard, this is the stupidest show on YouTube at the moment. But um, I'd like to think that it it's not um you know the the outpouring of support that i have here from all of you has been amazing and uh wow i you know it just it just it just it just is amazing how many people have poured out their love for me and and stuff and you know and uh i'm really enjoying what i do so it's you know, I feel blessed today. Um, you know, some sometimes you people don't do what they enjoy, and I've always had the opportunity to do things that I enjoy. And um, if you know, I can't tell you. You know, sometimes you've got to get through the hard times in life to get through the get to the good ones. You know, there's always a a tomorrow, <laughs> and that you know, there's always tomorrow, and there's always today. I make make the change do what you need to do to to um to 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 do that but hold on a second i am missing something very important from coffee talk and that's coffee and i am back because what is coffee talk without coffee right right Right? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> but I hope people can hear me. That's my only concern at this point is people can't hear me. But um, if you can hear me, let me know. Please, 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 please. Because um, I have this new mic set up that I'm kind of playing with. And I hope that I didn't mess that up. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to turn this up a little bit. This is a song by DJ Quads, which is... Um, there we go. That's too loud. But DJ Quads is a, is a DJ that does free music for you guys. And he's got a link in... I've got a link of his in my description. And it's free vlog music, free background music, free vlog music. And um, it is something that I really enjoy. I like his music very much. So this is really strange. I usually have people in here who talk. So, But um, not yet this morning. I really like that interaction that I get with people. So um, I'm going to make sure that when I get done with the show, because I'm not going to stop, that I can actually be heard. So because I'm not getting any, any any interaction this morning, which is surprising. Hot coffee is so good. Um, our uh, good friends at Kawa Cup Coffee, I'm going to go visit them today, talk to them about doing... Wow, you've gone so high with the subscribes. No kidding. How are you today? Can you hear me? Offbeat Christian, can you hear me? Hear me at all? Yay! I can be heard! Christian, thank you so much. I've wanted to use your intro on this, but somehow this OBS has not been very, very um, friendly with the MP4 file. So 
and it, well, it doesn't support video in general as a file. Um, so I haven't been able to use it, but I want to. I, when they update this, I'll be able to do this. Yeah, I've I've gone up in subscribers, right? It's great. Um, I, you know this this subscriber thing has been kind of a. I, I joined this community called I Am a Creator, and um, Christian, if you want to grow your channel and join us, um, look up hashtag I Am a Creator on Twitter or right here on. Um, uh, right here on YouTube, and you'll find a ton of people who are willing to support you. So, if you want to grow your grow your channel, have people check it out and see it. I can only suggest, but Christian man, do it, bro. It's awesome. It's it's awesome. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of small creators out there who are starting to grow their channels. You know, content's really important too because you've got to have some decent stuff, but. Hashtag I am a creator. It's in the um, it's in the title of this. So yeah, um, Christian, I can't tell you enough. You've got some good quality stuff, and you could be a really good asset to this community. I mean, I my everyone loves the. I mean, seriously, people dig the the intro you made for me. It's hard, you know. Um, yeah, it's hard when you're busy to create YouTube growth. Um, and, uh, I am not as busy as you are, probably. But you gotta have to set up a, a schedule and follow the schedule. Um, that's really important that I found. I'm on at 10 o'clock in the morning, central, every day. So, like, I don't know what part of the country you're in or part of the world you're in. Uh, what part of the world do you live in, Office Nation, or Christian, I should say? Because, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that I can reach you. Yeah, school. What, 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 what kind of, you're, you're in PA? Sweet. I know a few people who live in PA. Um, and, uh, because I, I, I have a bunch of Eagles fans that are really happy that they won the Super Bowl this year. Actually, a lot of guys are from Jersey. Jersey is so close to there. You can drive from the, from Jersey and be in Philadelphia in a little while. Yeah. Um, were you are you an Eagles fan or a, 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 a Eagles fan or whatever? I was an Eagles fan for yeah, very glad the Eagles won. They had never won before, and that is a great thing. Um, uh, I I was just so happy to see my friends happy. You know, I'm I'm a Bills fan, so I became an Eagles fan for a day because I hate the Patriots. Now, that's a strong word. That's a strong word, but. Um, Yeah, yeah, it's it, it, yeah, it changes everything when you win a championship. <laughs> I grew up in LA, and so I'm a big Dodgers fan. I'm not crazy about the Rams or the Chargers, so um, I'm not a football fan from there. But I lived in Buffalo for a while, not very far from the Ralph, which is their stadium, and so I got to see. A, I actually saw the Eagles play a couple years ago, so yeah, it was a good time. Go Angels! The Fish Sandwich Show is in the house! Good to see you, Robert. How are you today? Just plug in your channel a little, a little while ago. And the new designs that we're coming up, or the designs we're coming up with for your um, merchandise. So welcome back, Offbeats Nation. His name is Chris Robert. Fish Sandwich Show, meet Offbeats Nation. Offbeats Nation um, does not know about the I Am A Creator community. I just introduced him to it. It's a good dude. He, you know that intro that you like that that goes on my regular videos. He actually, um, yeah, you're an Orange County guy, man. You, ah, uh, you in your OC crap? Go back to OC. I mean, where you live now, there is no baseball team like where I live. So, go Angels. I like how you capitalized Dodgers and left the Angels down there with no A, but. Yeah, I kind of woke up in a sour mood. It was, uh, as you can tell, I, I'm sporting a new haircut today. I gotta stop by to say hi. I'm at your work. Can I go before they get fired? <laughs> Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> then you'll have to live off live off the the the, the Patreon stuff that you have. So, and right now, I don't know how much that is, but it's not enough to pay your rent. So, thanks for stopping, stopping by, bro. I appreciate it. Um, 
We are at 21 minutes and five people watching. Thank you very much, Patsy. I appreciate that because, um, you know, I, I've, I've always been preferential to myself with no hair. Um, and some people like it, some people don't, but, um, I just think it's nice. Rex Styles is in the house. How is Rex Styles today? That's cool. I'm glad you're here. You're you're new to my uh, my live chat, so I'm really glad you're here. Um, humans, good, good to see that. I'm glad you're here. I'm here every day at 10 o'clock in the morning and um, and Central. Oh, you're Christian's sister. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Because this is fun. What's up, the curly special? Yeah, you know, Robert, before you met me, this was what I wore all the time. But I've had other people tell me I look like curly, except curly didn't have this massive amount of hair on his chin, so yeah, it's growing out. I usually shave it, but I think I'm gonna let it. I think I'm gonna let this grow longer. But actually, you know, I was I was teasing the idea that when I got uh, 300 subscribers, that I would. Um, <laughs> Gotta go? Okay. See you guys later. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Stop by whenever you want to. 10 o'clock Central. So, uh, 11, 11 o'clock Eastern. So, yeah. I might start at, start starting at 9. I think 9 might be better for a lot of people. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. What, what was your name? You've got a you've got a great great screen name. Are you are you doing creation Rex, Rex Styles? Oh, I think she's gone. Yeah, Twitter and YouTube, Twitter and YouTube. So yeah, look at both. But we're all over the place. Every every sense of media that we have, the I am a creator movement is moving. And then um, we like to create a, we like to um, topic, call a topic of uh, a love, you know? I mean, loving people and, you know, just the love that we have for everyone else is so awesome. Um, see you later, dude. But yeah, we're, um, we're coming up on 24 minutes and we are doing really well here. Um, I've got my coffee for the morning. It's starting to make me feel a whole lot better. Oh, man. I'll have to get my nicotine in today, too. Yeah, check your spam folder for I'm a Creator, people. If they use that hashtag, I, 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 I may have been mistaken. I've heard a lot of different things about this I'm a Creator hashtag late late lately it's either a an, an on or off thing i've had people who work directly for youtube and google say that just hashtags are a bad idea in comments because they come up as a link they show as a link and so it shows as as spam and especially if you start typing the same thing if like you're like cutting and pasting your stuff because i see that a lot too that ends up in my spam folder every time um yeah, maybe okay in your tags, but not necessarily the comments, I think. Um, it shows as a link, so that's how the AI reads it anyway, or the automated intelligence, or whatever that stuff is. I, I've stopped um, making a point of actually paying attention to the AI. A lot of people um, put a lot of... You know, statistics are nice, and having your analytics, but... Um, I'm putting more emphasis on content and thinking that the people will come. Uh, yeah, I, inner title, I, uh, I'm trying that out to see what happens. I heard it might hurt your growth potential a little bit, but at the same time, as far as how your channel shows up on, um, on the search stuff, so I, I, I think I might drop that. After, when this thing goes, I try to attract people with this, um, when I, you when this pops up that shows I am a creator, and then when I put this back into show notes and I go back and do the post production on this, I take it out. Um, and I think we ought to search for I am a creator in the search bar, and then the tags will show up as I am a creator too. 
So, um, yeah, I, I want to support the community, but I don't want to hurt myself. And, um, you know, James has been okay. He's been able to grow and do that stuff. So we'll see. And Mackenzie, Mackenzie seemed when here, his show, were you, were you at the show on, um, James's show on, uh, Patsy? Were you there on, uh, on, um, were you there on, uh, on Saturday? I think it was when Mackenzie was on. Cause that was really interesting. She's a good girl. I like her a lot. Um, I mean, I I understand her uh, struggle with um, getting off of antidepressants. That's a really really tough thing. Cause you know you you don't realize when they put you on these things, they don't tell you they're addictive and that they have withdrawal effects when you get off. And, and man, I'm telling you, it's some really tough stuff. Got the to toward the end of her. Yeah, that's kind of when I came in. Um, I drop in and out of that out of that live chat. Um, but I try to catch the guests because the guests are really interesting. Um, the, the, you know, you drop in and you say hi and you've got, I dropped in and I said hi a couple of times and all of a sudden I had, um, 18 or 19 subscribers that just boom right there. So, you know, like for me, that's a little overwhelming. It's cool and everything. I like that. I hope they stick and I hope they watch the show. Um, you know what I do every day and the, the videos I put out um, and but when if you don't have a comment or a note or anything you don't know whether those people are gonna actually do that so you know that's that's part of the growth process though and you gain subscribers lose subscribers I'm just hey 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 you got a fancy coffee maker this morning woohoo it's your it is it is it your birthday Miss Kathy And I'm not going to ask her age, because that's just be rude to ask woman her age. Do you, I'm glad you found me alive, too. Oh my gosh, that is a big, big birthday. You are, you are five years older than I am, and I, 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 I am, I'm actually, you know, I find that I'm actually getting better with age myself. I like myself more at... 45 than I did at 50 and that might be personal but um, and just in general I'm like getting more comfortable in my skin um, yeah ring the bell how come you haven't rung my bell anymore dang Miss Kathy uh, she probably has sometimes you just miss the stuff you, you're away from your computer I, I get that I'm sometimes I don't catch things either um, but I was in the chat on uh, we were talking about the Iva Creator Movement a second ago, if you weren't here. Um, but we were talking about that, how um, I've heard one thing, and I've, I've heard several things about it, and I, I don't want to think anymore, and I'm just going to go with the heart and do what I feel is good at that moment. Those are on, and I was offline until now, yeah. Um, I'm here at 10 o'clock Central. I was kind of hoping that I'd catch it, because um, I... Uh, I, I, I'm not sure with this time switch because I've been kind of going back between 9 and 10 and I'm trying to stick with 10 because um, 10 seems to work pretty well for me really really well um, 9 it works well for people on the east coast a little bit so uh, not as well on the east coast but on the west coast a little bit better because like I catch um, the lives of Ken and Jane a lot, and they're really cool people. Do you miss Kathy? Do you know them? Because they're really good people. Good morning, father and sons. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Corn Life with Rick. Oh, Corn Life Network and Coffee Talk with Rick. And until now, I had, oh, until a little few minutes ago, I had no coffee. And so it wasn't really a coffee talk. It was a talk, and I, I feel so much better with my coffee. But yeah, um, they're really cool, aren't they? Um, I, I, I really think um, Ken is a wonderful musician. Um, yeah, we're, I, I think everyone's doing well. Say happy birthday to Miss Kathy. She just turned 50, folks. I'm going to broadcast it, and I'm going to wish her a happy birthday and put that in the description so that everyone knows that Kathy is having a birthday today and I'm gonna put that in my phone I don't have it with me so I know your birthday but um 
Yeah, Ken is funny. He's a really funny guy. He's not. He's one of the guys who's in it for growth so he can meet people and love people, right? And have friends. Isn't that what this is all about? <laughs> you know, that's what I got into it for, was to, to, to spread the love and stuff. I mean, I, I, I like the growth and stuff, but I'd rather just have friends, you know, and love people and stuff. And, you know, I, I'm not quite... Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about all of the growth without content. Miss Kathy, Miss Kathy and Patsy Lohan. Patsy's got a lot of time to caught father and sons has got great content. Um, uh, everyone's got great content and I'm trying to turn people on to this. I'm a creator movement because, um, they need growth and there's good, good stuff. There was a guy who was just on here off beats nation. If you guys have seen my other video, I have like this really cool graphic thing that comes up in, in between my intro and the video on my vlogs and other times too, when I'm, when I'm doing stuff. Before I started the um, live stream, I could use it, but with the software that I use right now, I can't use it. And that is just, it kind of breaks my heart because I got to spend some time on it. Um, but he's in school right now and he was in a little bit earlier and I'm really glad I caught him. Um, but I turned him on to the I Am A Creator movement so that he can grow his channel because he's good. I mean, he could, he loves make, excuse me, wow. He loves making um, content for people and that's just showing the love i mean he made this thing after i knew him for like 10 minutes i subscribed to his channel because i liked what he had on there and um it was completely out of the blue i was just looking around at different stuff and he must be like hey thanks for subscribing to my channel can i make you something and i was like whoa well cool yeah and I was, at that point i was about 22 23 subscribers and uh man that was like a blessing you know sometimes People pop into your life and God puts them in that place. And, uh, you know, I all I can do is witness to, to them and tell them how incredibly important they were to me. And I was able to do that this morning, and that was really cool. He's like, wow, your subscribers went way up. And I'm like, yeah, but, um, you know, a lot of it has to do with just that intro because it's so attractive. I, I was using a basic intro that was really kind of boring. So he really helped me out a lot and um, kind of helped me with a color scheme too. So um, yeah, uh, this is a, a good morning. Oh, we'll definitely stay in quality time together. Um, you know what? I, I'm glad you were live. Happy birthday. And I will tell Brooke that it's your birthday. And I'll have to do something because it's your birthday. We'll celebrate your birthday right here at the Corn Life Network and uh, or at the country residence. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Father Says, for stopping by. It's so nice live. It's so nice live just to, to catch people and, and just be able to, I don't know, connect in a, in a live way. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure that we, we connect that much and um, other than, you know, like in live streams and stuff. And I think that's the best way to reach people. Um, a lot of the same people every day, but, it, you know, as it grows, maybe more. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. But people watch this on the other end, too. They watch this after it's done. And that's a blessing. And, you know, YouTube wants us to live stream. They keep talking about that in these bigger channels. If you're not live streaming, you're not doing it right. Well, I'm live streaming every day and not doing as much like, you know, recorded content anymore. And I'm, I've started doing that last week. At the end of the week, I did some more. But I, fi I find my live streams get a lot of views and a lot of, t a lot of watch time. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Wow. Been a good morning. Yeah, you need to do it again, Patsy. Your your content is amazing. It's like a, like, the Muppets, but better, but better. I mean, it's like for today's audience, um, and I I appreciate it. And yeah, you need to do it again. I don't I don't know what you use, but uh, for software, but that live stream was fun. I remember catching it when I was once a part of that other group that kicked me out so quickly. I don't know what I did or said, but um, I got kicked out of that one. 
Um, I thought I was being supportive and loving, and instead I got kicked out. But that's always fun. It's always fun to be a part of a new group and learn something. And, you know, things are for a, a season, as they say. And uh, that was for a quick season. It was not meant to be, I guess. So, But, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate... Did they? Is that what happened to that group? They closed down? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm a part of another couple groups now. And it's on the, on, on the Facebook. Because, um... I just feel like you know, they need to be in community with other people um, and show this stuff that, you know, um, I need to, I need to be in community with my friends um, and that is what I do here. But I, you know, Patsy, I'm not feeling it today. I am so tired and I just feel like I need to spend some time by myself. So it. About 40 minutes, I think I'm going... Yeah, the whole thing. And they were mad at me for not taking sides. Yeah. Um, I, I That bummed me out because I don't... When people make me take sides, I always pick the side that's not making me take sides. That's kind of what I do. Because if you like choose that person, it's like confirming their insecurities or their anger. And... Um, that may, may not be a popular statement, but, you know, yeah, it, exactly. There are three sides to every story. Um, and, it's just unfortunate that people just can't get along. And, you know, I, I'm guilty of this as well. Um, there are opinions I have, but I am definitely going to support everyone who is out here trying to create. And I don't want to like fight over who did what or who did anything with this I'm a creator movement and which way you should go, which way you can't go. I think there's a way for everybody to do their own thing and I'm finding it and it changes. And I don't want to have to like stick to a diehard set of rules of who, where I can be and where I can't be. Fooey. Fooey on that. I mean, I, I, forget it. I, I, I don't like to be told... Um, what I can do and what I can't do. That's just basically my, my rebellious nature. I mean, I, I, I fall to one one power in this world, and it's not a human. I fall to um, the, my Heavenly Father. So um, and it doesn't involve... Um, and, and ethically and morally, that's where I get my stuff. And it all starts with love. And if you're not spreading the love and you're not loving people, then I don't want that. And... I just don't want, I want to be part of the love and in, in the, you know, uh, I loved, I lived, love uh, James Cox's Sowing the Seeds of Love. You know, that's an old Tears for Fear song, but it's true. Well, I, I don't think that everyone's going to get to six figures. If you work hard enough, you will. If you work hard enough, but I don't think everyone's designed to get to six figure and six figure stuff. Yeah, it's just us and God. Right. I totally get that, Patsy. And, and that's the thing that I get. If, I can't imagine not having something. Now, we, I know what my God is and how I believe, and that's Jesus Christ. But other people all have this different viewpoints on that, and I'm not going to make a judgment on YouTube on them. I just That's for God to decide in the end. Um, and so I just love people to love people, you know? I mean, we all have... I mean, it's... I'd rather, I mean, honestly, um, I'd rather have somebody have some spirituality in general and be a witness so that they can find that right idea of what spirituality is, in my opinion. But I'd rather have them have some sort of spirituality because um, you gotta, you gotta at least honor that there's a soul in your body. If you don't believe there's a soul in your body, you got something wrong with you. Good morning! Good morning, good morning. No problem, Transit Van Doors. Um, good to see you. Good morning. Um, I just thank you very much. I appreciate that because I love to hear that because, um, I mean, it's it's so hard on YouTube. Everyone's got an opinion and, and I, I don't, I don't want to scare people away with my faith, but I'm not going to stop talking about it either. I'm not going to stop talking about it. Um, I totally, totally believe that if some people are ready and some people aren't, you know, and uh, I, I'm taking this 
this uh, love message further than a lot of people do. And, and you know, I, I think we should all be talking about love. You know, um, we should definitely all be talking about love and God. It, it, or at least our own opinions of God. You know, I mean, that's... That's where conversation comes in and freedom of choice. And God gave us all freedom of choice to do what we need to do. And, you know, we, he all walks beside all of us in life and pursues us in some ways. You know, I mean, uh, there are times in my life when I've completely walked away from God. And I, I always get caught. He always catches up with me. He always pursues me. He always catches up with me. And that's where I where I come across. I don't have my book with me, but I re- came across a book called The Pursuing God. And, um, you know, I think it gives hope to everyone who um, may not be right where they think they should be. I'm, a, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm definitely not perfect. And I'm, I'm the first one to say that. I mean, I, I woke up in a horrible mood today. I just did not want to do this at all today. I'm still, you know, I've got lots of stuff to do today. And I'm thinking, oh, but what do I do? Or do I cancel? Nope, nope, made a commitment, um, and I will continue to make that commitment to be here at 10 o'clock in the morning as long as I am able, or on days that I'm able, because um, sometimes I have doctor's appointments, stuff like that in the morning, and that's difficult, but that's part of life. That's part of life. I mean, sometimes people call off work to go to their doctor's appointments, and I'll let everyone know if I'm not going to be here the next day. Um, I definitely don't want to disappear out of people's lives, because... That's just basically wrong. Um, I mean, people do it, and they, but you know, I, I'm not a disappearing kind of guy. I don't, I just don't like disappearing. It's not very cool. It's called like what Robert had happened to him with his girlfriend ghosting him. Um, that wasn't cool either. But yeah, if there's, if you haven't checked it out, I'll, I'll pop it again. Robert has a. Robert has a new video out today. Um, of him doing some unboxing of some gifts that were sent to him and I'll tell you he is the happiest guy in the world right now um, he's working this angle where he's just um, coming from a place of love you know and that's where I went to him you know to um, tell him that we all loved him and tell him that you know he's valued and that he is definitely a part of this community that we we would miss very great much very very much if he left um you know I, i'd su- continue to support that guy you know i i went on his patreon and donated a dollar a month who can't donate a dollar a month i mean i a lot of people some people can't you know but a dollar a month would really good morning broken x how are you that love for love right good morning how are you broken x are you doing well Doing well. Welcome to the channel again this morning. I'm man. I've got six people watching. It's a it's a banner day, which is great. I love having six people watching us. But yeah, it's this is the best thing I do all day. Awesome, very awesome. But um, yeah, I man, I I just uh, you know. Can you guys hold on for just a second? I've got someone at my door, and I am going to be right back.
evening, everyone. The highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accident. Well, I am back. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of music, and there was a music in the background. Is that what you were thinking of? Because that is uh, DJ Quads. It's called The News. But it's uh, good stuff. A little bit of music for to, to uh, start the day. I try to switch it up so it doesn't all sound the same. Yeah, a little bit. It's it's a, it's kind of a cool feature that I use on this uh, OBS software. It's it's I like it a lot better than a lot of live streaming programs because it's just uh, you can do so much. I mean, like this little subscribe bar I was able to put in, the one that runs right about right down there, right there, there, there. That subscribe bar that I put right there is um was done with photoshop and i was able to drop it in and program it into one of my scenes and then you can use different scenes like you know um one of them's messed up today this this um this one right here was working earlier and it's not but you could switch between scenes like this one which music doesn't work in right at the moment i don't know why but then you could switch back out to this scene and then you can create a scene like I'm trying to do one with Robert where you can capture a window, like a Hangouts window. And then you can put the window in and drop it in right about here, I'm thinking. Right here. It's showing it backwards. But you can drop it in right about in this area. And so we can have an interview. We're talking about having, a, having an interview with um, Robert from the Fish Channel show this afternoon. And um, if you can catch that, it'll probably be around... I'm thinking he gets off work about four. Yeah, I'm using a webcam, um, but the uh, I'm using a new microphone too, so it might sound a little different. But the webcam is a, is a Logitech C290, I think it is, but it's um, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm, it's 1080p and it, it shows up really nice on broadcasts. So um, I was using a Sony A6000 for all my other stuff, and I'm using mainly for photography, but um, I was recording with that and you SD cards and all that stuff. I see I've got an SD card right here. It was plugged in and I just removed it. But um, and it was t it, my Mac is telling me that I did not eject it properly. Thank you very much. Um, I, I am so happy with it. It's so much different than the other one. And I got it, it was on sale for like twenty bucks and it's usually like fifty bucks. So I had to had to um, definitely, yeah, OBS for the live stream. It is so good. Um, and, you know, it's open source software. So people add filters and stuff to it all the time. And they offer them on the internet that you can get. Um, they offer a whole bunch of stuff that you can get for OBS that just works really great. So, um, yeah, OBS is my favorite program. I tried Hangouts one time. I didn't like it. Um, it's it's just kind of the generic thing that everyone uses and I wanted something that looked a lot different if you want to use OBS There's so many tutorials. That's how I learned how to do all of This stuff. I mean I use tutorials from from um, The guys and there I can't remember the their channel names But you if you look up OBS on YouTube, it'll tell you everything you would ever possibly need to know about this program Everything um, and that it doesn't support video as in like Like pulling a media file down it won't support video, but it'll support every other kind of file So that's what I like you can make banners you can do stuff via Photoshop You can do all kinds of things pull pictures in you can do just everything you would ever want to do that I totally completely recommend it to everyone um, Yeah, if you you, you, you are you uh, oh you're in Alaska right um, maybe Facebook will come with come up with that 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 flying plane that will um, give us all broadband service right for cheap prices but I, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll uh, hold my won't hold my breath for that to happen because nothing's cheap on the internet um, but how is Alaska today Brooke Knox is Alaska good because I, I um, haven't been following the weather for Alaska, but...
Yeah, yeah. You know, Angel's great. You know, she released a sunny, rainy, and warm. That's good. You know, I I've got a, I I've been to, been to Anchorage, but I really have to get to see the rest of the state. About forty. You know, we're gonna be fifty-two today, so I got you beat. But um, that's good for Alaska. I'm telling you, you've had rain when I've had snow, and that you know I in a town in a town in Alaska with five feet of snow around it in a with no roads man i'm telling you you're doing pretty well broke next i would love to be in a place where um the only number one in a state that <laughs> that um allows me to carry a farm firearm without a permit um openly like arizona did um Air, alaska is a pretty progressive state there's a lot of people who um a lot of conservatives that live up there and just you need, you would need a firearm to live in Alaska. There's a lot of nasty stuff in Alaska that would hurt you. So, um, but yeah, I actually just was, when I was in church on Sunday, there was a which was actually in my living room because they have a live stream from Lutheran Church of Hope in in uh, West Des Moines, and uh, we usually go there, but it's an hour away, so an hour and a half away, so. We uh we made the online stream this this weekend. Um, we were both really tired after our broken down car in Des Moines on Saturday. So, or at least a dead battery. Um, but yeah, we were we, we were catching the live stream, and uh, they were talking about a gentleman who made a who went out into the wilderness to survive. He eventually ended up dying, but they had told this story, and it was a pretty pretty cool story how he was searching for those mountaintop experiences like that Christ did like during the transfiguration. So, um, kind of cool, kind of cool story, but we're at 53 minutes. Um, and I got to admit that I am not feeling this this morning at all. As far as myself, I am just not in, in a great mood. I know I'm not showing it probably, but man, I need to, I need to give myself some time and some space this morning to just be calm. So, um, I'm tired of tired of this weekend actually. So, Monday is getting to me. So, you know what, you guys? You guys have a great day, and um, I will be back tomorrow in a much better mood. <laughs> You're right. Turn that frown from upside down. Yeah, uh, I, I do need to look, look after myself. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, broke necks. It's your true. It's very true. Uh, snap out of it and turn that frown upside down. Says Robber from the Fish Sandwich Show. But yeah, um, he keeps popping in and out of here, checking up on me, make sure I'm doing things right. Does, does, hey, Robert, does this microphone sound better? Yeah, we all need breaks from YouTube. We all need breaks from YouTube. I thought I was getting enough by taking weekends off, but I didn't actually take a weekend off from the tube. Yeah, um, you know, I think Robert just did that, and that's a great thing for himself. He took took care of himself there, which is, man, uh, that's what you need to do. And I've done a show on burnout, so I know what that's like. And, uh, uh, but, I, you know, it's how I look at it is what I do right here is an hour a day. I'm not shooting a vlog all day, you know. I'm not doing this stuff, and I can I can basically sit down. I am on a live stream, but um, sounds so clear, which is so cool because um, most people use their webcam like I did, and the webcam was good, but it caught all the other, there was no cancel, noise cancellation at all, like, um, I was really surprised no one heard my door, which is interesting because I had a UPS guy pounding on my door a couple minutes ago, and um, no one actually heard it, so... What, yeah, what, what hair, what hair? I know, isn't it right? I was gonna shave it off for 300 subscribers, so I did it. It wasn't exactly that way, it was more of a, I didn't wanna pay $15 for a haircut. And I didn't wanna look, you know, like Robert, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no, Robert's a good looking guy. But he's giving me a hard time, so I'm gonna give him a hard time too. That, that, that old 1980s, 90s punk that he was. Yeah, you no kidding. I've got this kind of like receding hairline thing going on here a little bit that I noticed today, which, you know, 
I might, you know, I was thinking about, I have, I bought this new razor. This this guy, he doesn't even stop by today, but Ben, uh, Ben Chavez. And he, he's cool. He's from Lansing, Michigan. And um, he has this cool channel. It's, I think it's Benjamin Chavez, um, actually. And he uh, got me into saving with those old safety razors. And I'm telling you, it's the best shave I've ever had. I have to be really careful to not cut myself, but uh, I'm still learning how to shave with it. But it's like one of those old ones. Um. <laughs> Robert, you getting a bald spot. Getting a Hey, Seven Blessings, welcome to the show. How are you guys today? And Robert's here. Imagine that, right? Robert, in the middle of his work day, was able to find some time to come to the Corn Life Network show with Rick and Coffee Talk. So, um, hopefully I'll have him on the show later. I've got to figure that out technically. I've got some other stuff to do today. Um, got to go to work, dude. See you later, man. I'm glad I could catch you. Had... Yeah, you have to go back. If, if, by the way, if, you, if Seven Blessings, have you caught Robert's new show today? Because he's got a new one. It's brand freaking new and it came out this morning. Bye, Broke Next. Bye, Robert. And you came in, right? Seven Blessings, you came right at the end of my show. I've got two minutes to talk to you. Or a minute now. So, um, I stick to an hour. That's my 24th of a 7th of a day or something like that. As we all did. But yeah, we, yeah, he sure did. Isn't that great that he's back? He actually watched all those videos. You don't feel, um, don't feel bad. You don't feel like he didn't watch those videos about the, about the, uh, fish eating. He totally did. And by the way, those, that sardine thing with the, the tomato sauce, that looked awesome. I gotta cook that. My, my girl's not too crazy about sardines, but I think she'd like that if I seized them up and made them taste a little better, but that tomato sauce stuff looks good. So, got one minute to go, and so I'm going to start to say goodbye. Everybody have a good morning, and uh, stay blessed. Love everybody, and if someone hasn't told you today, I love you very much. Um, spread the love today, folks. Go out there and uh, just kill it with your life and move. Bye.